Hey, welcome back to, um, this, this is the third, third episode of the, of late night hardcore Minecraft. Um, it's not always going to be late night, but I normally record these super late at night. I'm still on 1.6 and 1.5. I'll probably wait until they patch out the diamonds. Uh, I've heard that, that... Uh, in case you didn't know, the diamonds in 1.17, they are bugged, and so they don't generate properly, and so they just don't appear in certain chunks. Alright, so last time I asked you guys what we should name the Hardcore World, and the only answer I got was, you should name it New World, and I thought that was stupid as heck, so what I did is I'm gonna I'm gonna put an exclamation point, new world, and then I'm gonna put parentheses, hard core. Boom, take that. Uh, optimize. Okay. So last time I know I did like no talking, is because I was so tired and I was so focused on mining, because. Some of my greatest threats in this world are mining in caves and falling into lava and exploring the nether. And I finally got enough diamonds to make myself a diamond pickaxe, which is probably what I should do right now. So I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe, like so. Now... I'm not going to go to the nether. Not right now. I need to prepare. Because in it is a reality out there where I make a nether portal and it's the middle of a lava lake and a gas shoots me and I'm dead. I'm done, foe. So what I need to do is... Um, one, get really good at MOG with um, beds and uh, hay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand the farm. This uh, little area over here. Um, do I have any bones? Yep, there you go. So uh, let me put away some stuff. These extra pickaxes. Okay. I'm also going to expand my house because still day one level, so... And you know, last I checked, it has been six days in terms of Minecraft time, so... I'm gonna sit here and... Oh, come on. Oh, not that. This. I should probably put away those pickaxes. No, not string. spending quite a lot of time on Minecraft recently. But, you know, it's also been getting my creative brain flowing. I've been, uh, thinking about stuff to build on, uh, my Minecraft server for, like, events and stuff, and they and it's just really been coming to me. So I need to get better at doing this. Uh, I'm gonna put away these pickaxes so I got the wood. Yeah, I got the birch. Okay, one, two. Make a quick chest. There, boom. <clears throat> so, hay reduces your fall damage. I think it was like 90%. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, even though I did the hay thing, I still took a full heart. Which... Okay, so I took a full heart there. I'm gonna have to heal that last bit. Okay. Now what if I just fall normally? Hmm. I know hay works, but I'm just gonna have to get better at it. Cause I'm I, I I'm pretty good at doing the water bucket. Like that. Let me guess, uh, go and kill the zombies down here. Where is he? Maybe this one's just Else? No? Alright. 
So I need to expand the house. Now, I don't know if I want to go vertically, because if I go vertically up and down, that's going to save me a lot of time, because... And effort, actually, because I won't have to watch for monsters appearing around the corners of my house. And I won't have to spend the resources making the torches to light up the whole area. I'm lighting up this cave because I don't want the monsters coming out of their caves at night. I think this one is cool. I was sitting here um, earlier today, or earlier the night, I guess, and I was thinking, what should I talk about whilst I play Minecraft? And I, 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 lo I looked up like podcast topic topics, and and one of the things about of the topics was talk about other podcasts, and I thought that was the stupidest thing ever because if you come onto your podcast and you're like, listen, podcast listeners. You gotta go check out this other podcast, like right now. Okay, I'm I'm a free advertisement for for rival podcasters. Like, would why would you like? Would you? I mean, another thing you could do is you just like talk bad about it. Just like, listen, podcast listeners, do not, do not listen to, uh, uh, big pizza, uh podcast it's the worst thing i've ever heard this man just sits here and he eats pizza for an hour and then he says thank you all for listening and then he, he just ends he just ends the podcast it's the worst thing in every day every day he does the same thing each time a different pizza he put he put he put water on his pizza once can you imagine that water pizza Oh god, water pizza. What would water pizza be like? Would would it just be a pie? Is that, that's just a pie, isn't it? Oh god, like thick water. Like the the viscous stuff that people drink. All right, I'm gonna spend some time chopping down trees for the house. Um, so it might. Speed up in about five, four, three, two, go.
All right. I have figured out a layout for my house. I'm just going to give it an L shape. And it's going to be slightly bigger than normal. Okay. That should not be there. First, I need to check where my house is. Oop. Maybe I should get rid of this uh, middle divider. Make these just one big area. I'm going to keep the uh, the edge dividers. I'm going to do some quick speed building. Make him the fastest clicker in the West. And I also got some extra cobblestone. I wasn't exactly sure if I had the cobblestone, even though I have a. Uh, I did go mining for quite a long period of time. Make an extra wall here. Actually, maybe I should put it right here. There we go. And I'll put like some windows in later when I have the glass. Hmm. You know, I I think I was off with the log count. Back to chopping down oak trees. Actually, I shouldn't really do that many. I only need this one. more of though is uh, spruce. Nope, I need more spruce. I need to get the spruce. Alright. Well, I might be out of in this area, I guess. I need to do some chop down this up with uh, quite a round tree, I would say so. Try and finish the expansion before nightfall. And then maybe for the next one, I can uh, go for a, a second floor. Maybe even a basement. Maybe a basement will work better because I have spiders. Like in the game, not in real life. There are tons of spiders in the basement. But they like how cold it is down there. Next patch, we're not playing the game for too long. Make some clicks on the wall in addition.
this is fun. Create one monster spawn when there is a creeper. Which I did get stuff in back there, but it does not count. Piece of wood stuff, not at all. Wow, it got dark in here quick. Okay. Expansion of the house, I would say. I have more chests, I feel like it. And those furnaces later. Alright. Now I need to do a different kind of farm because, wow. Game is tiny and useless. farm area. No, I cannot make that sugar cane. That's paper. But I can make an enchantment table. Uh, enchantment table so I can enchant some gear and pickaxe. Then I'll be able to go mine out that lumber.
one luck water source. Hi, hello, uh, editor, sneaky here. Um, so since I'm mumbling so much in the uh, video, I'm gonna be doing a uh, commentary over it. Uh, so basically, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to expand the farm. Uh, that much is obvious. However, I have decided that rather than just doing a traditional melon like row. I am going to do a checkerboard pattern, and I'm going to have it pattern out, so each individual spot will always be filled with melon, no matter what I do. So every tick, there is a, like a one out of four chance there will be a melon in that spot. I don't know where this idea came from, I don't know if it even works, but I, I have decided to do that, and so... He, that's what I'm doing here. There and there. So now, mods could grow here, 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 here. Okay. The significantly improved melon chance. Then I can keep going from there. Nope, that is a tab. Alright, I think that is. Is that the max? I think get a little bit bigger with it. One, two, three. Okay. Yep, that's about as big as I'm gonna get with it. Any bigger, and there won't be any space for melons. Also, I'm just use an oak door for a fence gate. Sticks in the middle, planks, and that's not nearly enough, but it should work for now. Alright, more spruce please. Turn that back into wheat for now. Oh yeah, I can breed those cows and sheep now. Oh, not sheep, pigs. I'll breed the cows for now. Maybe two go. Parrots and the bats. Expansion Minecraft is, uh, yeah, sorry. Expansion in Minecraft is something that's very easily uh, taken hold of. I would say, and pretty easily just go from living in a tiny little shack like me to being a Chad <laughs> plantation owner.
go. Plant those melon seeds now. Later down the line, I'll make a uh, like an automatic wheat farm. So when I see that all the wheat's grown, I'll just uh, flick the lever. All the wheat will come down in the hoppers, and uh, I'll have bread or not bread. I'll probably breed the cows and get uh, a steak. Maybe even further down the line, I'll make a tree farm and get apples, and then I'll be able to make golden apples from whenever I want. Alright. So the farm's been expanded. House has been expanded fairly easily, too. Maybe I should make that barn. Just like a little pen for the cows. Hello there, cow. You know, maybe I should make it a two wide, so I should make a another fence gate. Oh no, my hunger. No, oh, Jesus. No, that fence, damn it. Ah. Uh, it is. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. And this one. Okay, there we go. Nice. Still don't have food. I got one, and I'll probably eat this apple. Alright, speed time. Pied Piper. Trust me, it is totally safe and not deadly here in this pen. There you go. I will come back to breed you guys again later. Maybe I can make a potato section as well. But maybe not back there, maybe like to the right. I can probably fit out about the dirt. Alright, so, to those of you watching, how many of you have seen Bo Burnham's Inside? Uh, because I've seen it, and I honestly can't get it out of my head. Because it's so dang good. Something about the same, right? Hold on. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, that's actually exactly correct. Hold on, that's not. One, two, three. Hold up. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. That's the Oh, I get it now. Okay. The this is already the fourth. Wait, what the hell? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this is the middle. Oh my god. See, that, that is the that's the that's the sleep part of this, the late night. Jokes, top quality. It's very interesting to watch, and I recommend uh, if you haven't watched it, you should. It's on Netflix. I don't know how many of you out there have Netflix, but my God, if you've got Netflix, it's worth watching. I mean, if it's you know on some pirated site, and I don't re recommend pirating movies, but if it's on there, you should watch it anyways, because it's a pirate's life for you, huh? Sometimes I forget that a hose uh, that leaves faster than everything else in the game. Makes you think about uh, what hose could have been. You know, the... You probably don't know, actually. Um, I think at one point Mojang was considering making it so hose would have extra uh, range, and they had a like a slashing attack rather than like a sweeping edge attack like the swords have, and that it uh, was meant to have uh, like a scythe effect. All right. Out of food again, but I have to go back and get this mutton. Should be back up in tip topity shape. Then I can throw those potatoes. Oh, wait, forgot to make fences. Uh. can make a door instead of a fence gate because like I said I'm only gonna use those fence gates like once because it's easier to fit animals through doors and not doors fence gates than doors uh there we go oak door can you put one over there on the uh, melon farm entrance oh. go ahead writhe in agony Just sitting there, like, what, what, what kind of madman is this? I watched this video of a guy eating pizza for the first time, which is, you know, surprising already in and of itself. How many people go their whole lives into their mid 30s um, having not eaten pizza a single time? But then um, he got the most cursed combination. Um, because he's lactose intolerant, which, you know, as you know. Lactose intolerant people are our myth. They don't exist. Um, they're just people who are lesser than. Um, uh, 
and you know, yeah, and so he he got a he got a pizza without cheese, which is fine, you know. Some people just like don't get cheese on their pizza. It's not you know incredibly rare, but then um, he went ahead and he put you know chicken on there. Chicken's fine, you know. I I I don't really put chicken on my uh. My, uh, on my pizzas myself, but I've seen it happen, and I've seen people do it before. Um, and then he put barbecue sauce on top of that, not underneath it, like a like a margarita sauce, but barbecue sauce on top. And um, it's a bit strange. And then you know he added the um the, the cardinal sin of pizza. He put uh pineapple on it. And to be fair, pineapple on pizza, it's not the worst thing. You know, people are like, oh my god, pineapple's a fruit. But then you're like, hold on. Let let let's let's look through let's look through time a minute here, alright? Tomato is a fruit. You put tomato on a pizza everywhere. It's just all it's always on a pizza. Except, you know, in some very rare scenarios where you just don't have tomato on a pizza, you know. Um, and then he went ahead and he put, uh, oh my god, what was it? He put pickles on him, upon, on it. That was another, that was something. And I'm a big fan of pickles. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of pickles, but, um, on pizza, no. That's just that's a bad idea, because um, first of all, that's sour. With, I mean, I don't know what's pineapple, more sour. So it's just sour upon sour, and then you got the sweetness of the barbecue sauce, and then, and then you also had, got a thin, you got a thin crust as well. I mean, thin crust is not the worst, but it, you got it like super thin. It was like burnt thin crust. And all of this was supplied by Domino's of all people. And I, I, honestly, I, I, I like to think that Domino's went out of their way to go. And he was like, can I get some pickles on the pizza? Like, and, and they just, I, I, I could just imagine both their jaws dropping and the phone hitting the tile floor in the Domino's. They're just, they're, they're just in such awe, like... What kind of psychopath calls up the Domino's Pizzeria and they're, and they're like, Hey, yo, can you put some pickles on that bitch? Like, you're if you're putting pickles on a pizza, you've ascended beyond the satanic ritual that is putting pineapple on pizza. Because pineapple is sour enough, all right? And, you know, it's it, people. People like to, it's like oh, the texture and when it explodes in your mouth, quote unquote. What? Why the fuck do you want to have food explode in your mouth? You you want to have food explode in your mouth? You eat pop rocks. You eat pop rocks. That's what you do. Okay. You don't. You don't. You don't eat pineapple on your goddamn pizza. All right. It's none. Uh, regardless if it's if it's with the margarita sauce. Margarita sauce completely counteracts pineapple. You're fucking it's like you're 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 already insane. All right. If you get pineapple on your fucking pizza but if you get pickles vinegar like they've been they sit in vinegar for days to be quote-unquote pickled as is their namesake pickles I'm a, I'm a big fan of pickles like I've already said all right I I have pickles with uh, not with my sandwiches but sometimes on my burgers so, you know chicken sandwiches obviously you know that's a requirement but if you're putting pickles on a pizza that already has barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, chicken, pineapple, uh, sweet corn. That was the other thing. He had sweet corn on it. Dude, I don't know a single per. Okay. I've never had sweet corn on pizza. Maybe people like it. That's, and honestly, I find that a bit weird. Corn, it's meh. It's meh, honestly. Corn is a meh tier food, alright? It's the most basic of foods, alright? 
right next to grain. All right, grain is the second tier, is the next tier. You know, it's the S tier of, of, of basic foods. He had sweet corn with barbecue sauce, chicken, pineapple, pickles, and then thin crust. What? And then he he had he had an appetizer. It was it was a fried chicken. Fried chicken. My God. I mean I don't. Okay, listen. He said he loved it, and I was like, I'm so glad for you that you're getting to finally taste the gloriousness that is pizza for the first time. But then he, oh, I feel like he he. He didn't mean to do this, all right? He, he just selected the things that he thought he would like the most. And, you know, he doesn't like cheese, so he got that out. But somehow, he managed to create the worst possible combination of pizza co toppings that I could ever imagine. And I can't get it out of my head. It has been three days since I have seen that video. And it is so horrifying it's it scarred me. I will never be able to unsee that pizza. And the whole time, I was screaming. I was I, it was like, it was like torture. You ever see um ah oh, what's it what's the name of that movie? The psychotic people. Oh god. I don't know, but they you ever seen that kind of torture where they hold your eyes open and they force you to watch like movies where they were just people in agony or like stuff from bad events across history it was like that but then internally as time went on my mind began to become warped and i thought damn the way he's talking about that pizza makes me almost want to eat it and i felt so disgusted with myself i thought i could never recover it was so it was it's so horrible it's it's worse than when you when you masturbate to something that was really horrifying and you get post nut depression. Ugh. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, I hope you have a nice night. Um. Uh, and yeah, see you next week Thursday.